Hi, today I'm here to talk about motivation. At CFL, I see a lot of students who are on the second view. At this stage in time, the motivation level is really low. And I tell them there's something about the Goldilocks zone. Before I tell you about the Goldilocks zone and how to keep yourself motivated, let me tell you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bear. It's quite a famous story. You might have read it or you might have heard it while you're a child. Or if you're a parent, you might be reading it to your child. The story is simple, but I'll tell you in an abbreviated version. Now Goldilocks goes to the house of the three bears. She finds three porridges, one that is too hot, one that is too cold, and one that is just right. After eating the porridge, she goes and sits in a chair. One chair is too hard, the mother's chair is too soft, and one more chair is just right. Then she's tired, she goes up to the bedroom, sees three beds there. One that's too big, that's not a bear's chair. One that's too small, and one that is just right. Now what this has got to do with motivation? There is something called as a Goldilocks zone in a chart that's got motivation on the y-axis and difficulty level in the x-axis. If you, you can see this chart, if you give a task or you take on a task that's very difficult, then as per this chart, you're in the failure zone. Let's you take on a task, any task that's too easy for you, then you're in the boredom zone. You have to take a task that is just right for you. And if it's just right, what is just right for you? That's something that is challenging, that you know with persistence, with some hard work, that you can achieve it, then your motivation level is high. Now, as a student of second view, now somewhere now in September, October, you know you've got around six months to achieve your goal, and you think it's impossible, it's really hard, then what you have chosen right now, or what you're aspiring to do is too difficult. You're in the failure zone. Now what you have to do is, let's say you're a JMA aspirant or a NEET aspirant, JMA aspirant, you're scoring around 100 in your mock test. You have to choose something that is just right for you. 120, 140 should be your next challenge, next target. And if you aspire that, then you're putting yourself in the Goldilocks zone. If you're scoring 100 and says, in the very next test, I want to score 200, then you're putting it in the failure zone. Like Goldilocks said, it's too hot, too hard, or too big goals. You have to give the just right zone. If you're a good student and you're very, you've got high ability and you're not writing mock tests, you're pretty much putting right now in the boredom zone. You're not challenging yourself. So has a student, as a student, it's up to you. I don't know your difficulty level or no teacher can know your difficulty level for you. You have to root, choose the right difficulty to keep yourself motivated. Now let's say I'm, I'm into education, there are teachers who are teaching you and for teachers here, you know your students really well. If you are giving problems or assignments or tests that are too difficult for your students, then you're pretty much putting them in the failure zone. The motivation level to do better is very, very low. Let's say you're a teacher and you're giving really easy papers and students are scoring 100, 95 and so on. And they're students with high aptitude, very good gifted ch children. Then you're pretty much putting them in the boredom zone. You cannot give the same paper for students of high, high ability and students who are aspiring or learning new things right now. So that is where we cause our children to lose motivation. Let's say I'm a parent and you are, if you are listening to this and if you are a parent and you are giving really high ambitious goals for your children and saying that, why are you not doing this? Then you're putting them pretty much in the high difficulty level, you're putting them in the failure zone. At the same time, if you're a parent, you're not expecting anything for your children and they've got high aptitude, then you're putting them in the boredom zone. It's up to us as parents, teachers, to keep our children motivated by keeping them in the Goldilocks zone. Right amount of difficulty, right amount of challenges to keep them motivation level high. There's a myth out there that they says that I have to be highly motivated, highly motivated to take on a task, to study, to do a project and so on, or even to write a book. Unless my motivation level is high, I won't take on the task. That's the myth. There are several tools out there that help you improve your motivation. Goldilocks zone 
is one such tool. So if you want to get to a motivation level high or improve your motivation level, you have to decide what's the task or what's the objective or what's the goal you're going to take. That's right level of difficulty, right level of challenge and something when you achieve or to achieve it will motivate you. That's the assignment for you today. Have you listened to this? Find out your Goldilocks zone. And when your Goldilocks zone is found, see if it has motivated you. Thank you.